The dream, the impossible dream, to fight the unbeatable foe, to bear with unbearable sorrow, to run where the brave dare not go. So this again seems to be um, Henry Wolseley, and it's my uh, theme if I were to take on this expedition. And actually, I'm going to take on this expedition, and I will tell you how I will succeed. Now, uh, you have to use high tech when you're going in here, because uh, I mean, solo doesn't mean you know uh, isolated. Solo just means that I am going to do the journey on it, assisted by probably a moped or some uh, snowmobile or something like that. I'm going to walk it. But it doesn't mean that I can't have a base camp. I have people close by. They're going to be walking on the side, maybe about half a mile, quarter mile away. And um, they have all the speed thing that they could get to me real quick. And they have the monitors and me seeing my temperature and other things like that. And uh, I'd be taking daily ration and, um, and, and moving on. And so in case my you know, temperature drops from 9.8, down to 9.5 they, they got to come in real fast because you got to get something you got to start you know doing that warming up thing and in fact my, my temperature will not fluctuate like that because of what i'm going to do now here here's what i'm going to do um i'm going to have uh i'm going to use solar energy right i'm going to have a suit boots and everything hooked up with wires and i'm going to have uh a, a, over my body you know um, those those um, material that will absorb the sun um, light and convert it to heat as it were so I'll have you know the right temperature in there then I have a battery also that's going to be charging so that in case clouds or anything come over that I'm not going to have that pot you know powerful uh, or that insufficient sunlight I could still you know shift to my battery so as to keep my temperature right also, the sled I'd be pulling, uh, I'm going to have that also ice insulated and has, it has also um, its uh, solar panels and so on. So that my food is going to keep warm and I'll have liquid water, right? Um, because, of course, you could get dehydrated also, which can be another problem. Um, and so, in a way like this, I think that, uh, um, you know, it's going to be easy to make that. And even my tent that I'm going to be using at night. Uh, it probably gonna be able to absorb the moonlight because the moon is just reflecting the sunlight and it, it seems as if uh, they have military technology where they could capture this moonlight and convert it to energy and, and heat and perhaps and so on so this is the only then my tent also is going to be the same thing absorbing this uh, you know the moonlight sun indirect sunlight and so on and uh, keep my temperature correct and uh, if that's the case then I may not have to have a bulky set of clothes on, um, which is going to be extra weight. And I, I probably could even finish that journey faster. Not only doing it solo, but doing it faster. Um, and so we need to redefine what solo means. In my view, solo would mean that I have, I'm going to use in solar energy to warm my body. And it's, it's, instead of um, depending on my own body warmth, which is going to be from the muscle activity and uh, digestion other things like that but in that low temperature that could get snuffed out real fast that heat is so brutal that it will penetrate the layers and, and get to the body and, and uh, snuff out that little heat that is coming on and even lower your temperature your core temperature that could you know lead to death as in Wolseley's case here and um, you have your, camp, your, your support they're going to be uh, close by but not necessarily interacting with you or in a way creating a kind of social uh, you know psychological um, condition that will um, sort of neutralize the solar uh, the solarity and, and being solo in this whole um, journey so um, I, I think it's doable but it's just that you have to go high tech and I'm sure that if I decide that I wanted to take this um this track this is how I'm gonna do it but um, would I get support will I get the type of um, sponsorship that I'll need to do this Oh, by the way, I'm in a, in a wheelchair. I can't really do that now. <laughs> but uh, 
uh, you know, I'm looking forward to if I walk in the next 10 years or so, I probably could take it on.